All our kids here are first generation. There you go, bring it home. Good job, good job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Pull it back, pull it back. They don't have the advantage of some of the other kids who great grandmothers, great, great, great granddads, all of them were rodeo people. You're gonna zigzag all the way down, all the way back. You turn your last pole. Hopefully our, one of our kids today will end up getting a college scholarship, will advance, there's money to be made in the rodeo arena. There's careers in the rodeo arena. It's okay, it's okay. Finish your run, finish your run. It's okay. Good job, Madeline. We have three, your horse coming back, coming back, baby, we'll get the saddle on it. We have three young boys for sure who wants to be bull riders. Head straight, Jaden. Head up, head up. Head up, head up. Good job, Jay. Yellow barrel, yellow barrel. They started off on barrels. They didn't like barrels. Barrels wasn't exciting enough for them. It didn't bring the whole drive. They seen these little kids out there riding bulls and their eyes lit up. They loved it. Y'all are rounding the turns too much. That man's turn was too wide, Jay. One time I was riding my first horse. I was riding it and it just started fucking. My saddle went under it and I fell off. Well, I liked it, it was fun. Sit up straight, sit up straight. We don't have bulls, so we use our horses. Good. I'll stop the horse, I'll spin the horse, I'll make the horse move fast, I'll oh. slow the horse back down, and I'll try to do as much as I can oh. to kind of replicate the bull, even though we can't replicate the actual bucking. Good, sit up straight, sit up straight, sit up straight, sit up straight, get back up there, good, good, good. Not a lot of inner city kids have the, the resources or the funds to be able to actually go practice bull riding. You know, that's a, that's a multi-thousand dollar event. You gotta have the equipment, you gotta have the bulls, you know? Personally, I grew up around the sport. Um, my grandfather, my grandmother had ridden bulls, so. I'm the fifth of five kids, and my dad rode bulls, all my brothers rode, rode before me. So uh, I rode my first rodeo when I was five years old. It's a, like a culture thing. In a way, a lot of people aren't, I mean, born in the culture to do it, and then they don't see a whole bunch of guys of color doing it. You know, um, people like to have examples to, to look up to or whatever, and I feel like it was just a lack of that for the longest of time. Who's going first? Yeah. All I want you to do when you get up there <clears throat> is make sure you focus, keep a leg on each side and mine in the middle. And then after that, I can give you tips as we're going. All right? Don't worry about your hat, worry about riding. Squeeze your leg like you did earlier. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
Don't worry about your hat. Oh, don't worry about your hat. <laughs> Just marry it. Leave the hat alone. <laughs> Let me see your hat. <laughs> I can't say one thing, you gotta keep your hand off that hat. If it's gonna come off, let it come off. You gotta worry about riding more than you gotta worry about that hat. Cause in a real bull ride, they'd have disqualified you for grabbing your hat. Scoot all the way up there. Scoot up further, further. There you go. Now squeeze your feet right there. There you go. Look at the bull. You gotta look at the bull. If you don't look at the bull, he's gonna lose you. Squeeze them legs. Oh, squeeze your legs. Squeeze your legs. Oh! oh. <laughs> you want to be better? Yeah. Challenge. Yeah, challenge. Yeah. I like bull riding because it's a challenge, and there'll always be a challenge for the rest of your career. I'm going to get All right. Come on. I got it. On. Scoot up all the way up on that rope. There you go. Now squeeze, squeeze with your legs and keep looking right down there, all right? Hey, go ahead, JJ, squeeze your feet, squeeze your feet. Go, get the hand up, oh. hand up. There you go. Go ahead, JJ, keep getting Good around job, there. JJ. Go ahead, JJ. Good. <laughs> sit up, sit up, JJ. Sit up, JJ. There you go. Dread, Good job, just a JJ. Going. Squeeze your feet, squeeze your feet. Get in front, get your head in front. There you go. Come on. Oh, oh. good job, JJ. <laughs> Watch it, JJ. Watch it, JJ. Oh, JJ. He's after you. <laughs> Good job, JJ. Good job. You see when you kept it here, how easy it was, and when you let it get down here, it got hard? Yeah. If you keep that hand right there and just let them bulls pack you around, especially if you stay little like that, you stay short your whole life, you're going to be cool. You're going to be something salty. And it was cool to see the dreads, they was flying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that was cool. Y'all doing good. Y'all learn fast. Do you come from a bull riding family? Or no, you first sir. generation? First generation bull rider. So I was gonna ask you, what can, we, other than the YouTube, what can we use for some kind of live practice? Find somewhere that somebody has some rope and steers or something. That's what I did too. I had somebody with some rope and steers and get somebody to hold them and let them, get them a picking string or something, turn them loose, let them go and just kind of figure it out. You said y'all in time ball? Yes, sir. Okay, get, get with me uh, after this. Okay. We'll figure something out. Okay. When I got the phone call that these kids needed a place to go, uh, I said, by all means. I actually built it for my kids when they were growing up. I had two boys, and the boys wanted to ride bulls, so that's basically why I built it. And it turned in, we started putting on youth stuff. Finally getting these kids to the point where they can bull ride was not easy, but we're okay with that. Sometimes if things come too easy, you don't appreciate it. If we can help the kids, okay. you know, we'll have we'll It took us a while to secure some equipment. We had to borrow it from different people. We're thankful to those people. I need more than two. Thank you. Yes, sir. Too tight. It's the first time they're actually going to be on a live bull. It also may determine, you know, who really wants to stick and who's not going to stick. All right, hands, hands, hands. Your hands feel great. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Father God, we thank you for blessing us with this moment, with this opportunity. We thank you for watching over these kids. We pray they have a safe bull ride. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Amen. All right, let's go, guys. Let's right, do fine, it. Boys. Do we, do we need a rope or y'all have 
Yeah. First time to ride? All right. Remember, this was bull riding, it ain't bull sitting, right? Stuff, boy. You overcame a fear today. Good. My dad said we're going to buy one and then we're going to take it home and then we're going to keep practicing until I can stand as long as, as long as possible. How long do you think you were up there? 11 Never seconds. Heard of You want to get on that same one he got on? Which one's tough? You want the toughest one? You want the toughest one? He wants the biggest, baddest steer you have out here. And he's ready. Right, Jamarian? He's ready. He's got the right attitude. Yeah, he got the right attitude. Hey, man, you're sucking all that game. Now it's time to back it up. I'm going to hold on super long. And, um, I'm gonna tire the bull out. Put your knees down. Pick your feet up behind your butt. Put your knees on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Knees on down there. Drop your legs off. Just relax. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hang in there, Jamarian. Relax. There you go. Good. Keep them feet in him when that gate opens. Keep them feet in him now when that gate opens. Squeeze your man. Hold your head when you're ready. He's ready. Not hard. Let's go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. 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 All right. Good All job. Right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Good job, Jamarian. Jamarian always talks. He just talk, 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 talk. He also knows that, you know, when you talk trash, you got to back it up. He will back it up. Just give him time. When I was um, on, I didn't expect it, it to jump that high. What I, I hanged on for two seconds. My best idea would be him, because he's all worn out. And He's, he can barely, he can barely fuck. Ooh, that little flapper. I would choose him. Who we got riding, Jaden? Yes, sir. All right, Jaden, you ready, Hoss? You got it, go ahead. Jaden, you got it. Okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. There you go, man, that's how you do it. That was Keep ahead of Keep ahead of First thing first, let's fix this face. Nice. Let's fix this face. Come on. I know it hurts, but keep that head up, all right? Keep that head up. Good job, Jay! The importance of the first ride is to get back going. Um, if they hit the ground rather hard for whatever reason, their first ride, and they get a little shaken up, I'm going to do my best to encourage them to get back up and ride again. That's fine. You got to go on the other side. Feel good? Hey, you are the point. I thought you were riding left. Okay. Just relax. Just relax. Go ahead and nod. Go ahead. Go ahead. Squeeze. 
Today, this morning, Jaden started crying. He said, I don't want to go, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. But yet now, he don't want to go home. Yeah, I heard it a little. Would you do it again? Yeah. I would do it again. A lot of people had to come together to make this work. Mike, the owner of the facility, Zeke, uh, Ezekiel Mitchell. Come on, y'all come back then. Keep it up. This is just y'all's first day. If you look at it, we had guys that brought steers from one pen. We had another guy that brought bulls from another place. We had another guy that brought steers from another place. So that's three different contractors coming together just to make one rodeo work. You know, not even a real rodeo, make one little play day work. Y'all have fun. You wrote his tell him thank you. Shake his hand, tell him thank you. No problem, anytime. Knowing these boys, when we get home, they might try to practice again, um, but most likely it'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, they'll be back at it.